people show up in our lives as a reflection of self, how we see ourselves in their eyes. So it isn't necessarily just how we see ourselves or our own self-concept. A lot of times we base our self-concept on past experiences with people. Like, for example, maybe a guy rejected you years ago. And so you've continued to base your self-concept through, through this rejection, this one person that rejected you. Maybe you don't even want this person back, but you've continued to base your self-concept around this idea that this person thought this of you at one time. And so then you continue to assume that any new people in your life are also going to feel this way. This is why adjusting what we think other people think of us is so important and can be so monument and can create such monumental change because we will base our self concept, especially on those failures, of, those disappointments of the past. And if we can start seeing other people as at least having the potential to see us in better ways, higher ways, more beautiful ways, as someone who is successful, attractive, important, likable, all of these things. Like ask yourself, do you wait for someone to give you the cue that you can actually feel this way? Or do you go out on a limb and decide to assume it first? Like you have every ability to make the assumption that they can feel this way about you. You do not need to wait on them to give you some kind of affirmation that you can feel this way. You can feel this way already. But like I said, if it is too hard and it feel you feel a lot of resistance, a lot of strain, trying to conjure up this feeling, try to just be neutral. Just a neutral, peaceful feeling when this person comes to mind or when an idea of the kind of person that you want to, to manifest comes to mind. And the most amazing part of this is, is you can use, is that relationships are in every single area of our life. Whatever we want to manifest, people are involved, whether or not it's a specific person or a general amount of people. Whether it's being hired for a job or being paid or finding the love of your life or fixing family relationships, people are involved. <laughs> so if we can start to be really mindful of what we think other people are thinking of us and adjust it accordingly or just omit the bad stuff. The way people show up in our lives has everything to do with how we are viewing ourselves, our self-concept, the way we think we will be treated, what we think we can have. Change your self-concept and everyone in your world will change. All of your relationships will change. Your friendships will change. The business clients you attract will change. Your love relationship will change. Your assumptions of what you think someone else thinks of you it's everything to do with how they will show up in your life. So it's actually really simple to attract the exact kind of behavior you want from someone else. Whether it's romantic, whether it is being successful in friendships, in your social scene, in your family relationships, whatever relationship you currently have disharmony within, you can change. You can attract new relationships too. Like if you are in business, you can attract a ton of clients that are basically begging to pay you. You always form an assumption of what you think the other person thinks of you. We do this all the time. Every single person that we meet, even random people on the street, you assume they're thinking something about you or they have a certain opinion of you, etc., etc. When we start being mindful of these things and adjusting them, adjusting what we think someone else thinks of us, it's not that we're literally changing what they think of us because we actually don't know what they think of us. But we are changing how they show up in our life. Do you want someone to show up in a new way in your life? If yes, it's so easy. Okay, ask yourself right now, the person in mind that you want to change their behavior. Uh, for example, maybe someone is displeasing you. A relationship is disharmonious. You can pick any relationship. Pick someone in your life right now that is frustrating you and you want their behavior to change. Okay, now... All you have to do, ask yourself honestly, what do I think this person thinks of me? What are my assumptions about this person viewing me? How do you want the people in your life to show up? And how do you think they, they see you? The way that you can change the exact behavior that someone is giving you is simple. 
you first have to take an honest look at what you assume this person to think about you. Now, you want to base this on the ideal, not on disappointments or failures of the past. So for example, if this person has rejected you romantically in a friendship way, even a business relationship, we don't want to base your assumption of what they think of you on this particular rejection. Instead, we want to base it on the ideal. And the way we can manifest this is through not taking any type of external action. So it all happens from within. It all happens in your idea of self, your idea of what you think they think of you. This is not literally changing what they think of you, but rather changing how they show up to you. Because we show up in different ways to different people. For example, you probably show up in different ways to different people. And we, we do this all the time. You may want to try this in your love relationship. If, for example, you're having disharmony, what do you think the other person thinks of you? Like right now when you are imagining that person, are you imagining them wanting to resolve things, wanting to make things better, or are you imagining them okay with the disagreement, with the disharmony? How do you think this person thinks of you? This is one of the most eye-opening techniques, assumptions that you could possibly make, one of the most powerful things that you could possibly do. Because again, every single person that we come into contact with, whether it's someone that passes us by or an actual real relationship in our life. I think there's a quote that says something like, I am what I think you think I am. So basically, a lot of times we hold our opinions of self on what we think another person thinks of us. And the interesting part is, is that we're never actually in the mind of someone else, so we don't actually really know what they think of us. We're just forming assumptions of what we think they think of us. And wholeheartedly, we base our self-concept on this all the time. And if you have been striking out in terms of any type of relationship, like if you are finding people are just not harmonizing with you at all, this is really the golden ticket to it. Your assumptions of what you think someone else thinks of you. And you may not think that you're allowed to change this assumption, that maybe there's proof from the past of the reason why you think that you have to get on board with this idea of them thinking about you in a certain way. But we change our ideas of what we like, what we dislike, our opinions of things all of the time. So you actually do have free reign as to how to assume the other person to see you. And I actually made a video about this a couple years ago. Very successful video, how to get someone to be addicted to you. And basically, the advice in it is that you have every power to assume what you think the other person thinks of you. And in doing this, we're not literally changing what they think of us, but we're changing how they show up in our lives. Don't forget to enroll in my free course, studywithveronica.com. Subscribe to learn instant manifestation. May all of your dreams come true.